Hey guys, what's up? It's Jonathan with One Big Impact. This is day three of the two week One Big Impact challenge. So, I want to talk about three things, so let's get started. The first thing that I wanted to talk about is that you're not alone. A lot of us think or realize or come across this mindset where we're alone on this journey. You, Yeah, you may not have people in your family. You may not have people in your daily surroundings that are actually, actually on a low carb regimen or have weight issues or have food addictions or mental illness or whatever your issue is. But you have to remember there's plenty of us plenty of us including myself that struggle from this this group is full of people that are right there beside you so reach out and remember that there is many of us doing the same exact journey as you of course all of our journeys are going to be a little bit different but you have to remember you're not alone you are not alone you guys the next thing that i wanted to cover is if you get off plan and this is kind of just a good aspect of what people are thinking so say you get off plan and you fall out of ketosis mm, three times in a month three times in a month you hit starbucks you're probably thinking well it was only three times in one month well that's okay depending on who you are it could take two three or four days two two three or four days to get back into ketosis by using the keto strip the ketone strips well that's not a big deal except those three days multiplied by let's say four to get into full-on keto uh, ketosis is going to be 12 12 days that's almost half your month so you literally worked your ass off all month and lost half of your success why because you thought it was okay to screw up two or three times no big deal actually it is a huge deal and you have to remember that yes 12 days is almost half of a month if you went for a year and you didn't take it seriously you weren't diligent about the meal plan and you were screwing up you literally lost five or six months out of your whole year are you willing to sacrifice your uh your normal lifestyle to change your lifestyle to actually make a change and lose weight for half of a year when you're doing it all year so remember remember yes you might see them as only a couple mistakes here and there no big deal but those little things just like the little good things add up to great things if you were to not mess up six times in two months it would only take you a month instead of two months to get two months worth of results think about it guys you have to remember i'll put a link in the description below for the ketone strips pick some up test daily the link that i'll put it's like 10 bucks you get like 150 sticks um i don't have any sitting right here but that's like actually a way better deal than what the ones that you get at wally world you only get like 50 for like six bucks or whatever so a couple bucks more and you get three times the amount test every day if you have to to hold yourself accountable but remember just screwing up a couple times can completely derail your entire month so please be very diligent about not falling into that bad habit okay so number three is if the people around you are not contributing to your success then unfortunately and realistically they are contributing and are major factors in your failure eliminate them I know that sounds horrible, like a Mortal Kombat phrase or something. Finish her. No, or finish him. I don't know. That was kind of weird. <laughs> but you have to remember that if somebody is not for what you're doing and they're not contributing, you know, ideas and stuff like that, and they're always, you know, like, oh, this is bad. This is this, whatever. Uh, it's it's just a bad cycle. And usually those are going to be the people that are trying to derail you. Those can be very bad people to have around. If it's friends that want to party, if it's people that want to constantly feed you foods, even though you've told them that you want to change your lifestyle, if they want to constantly go to places to lunch that are not in the lifestyle that you are doing now, well, then you need to dis distance yourself from those people. I'm not going to say who, but recently, uh, very recently, um, somebody called me a fat ass about 
15 times in one single day. They said I'd gained too much weight. Um, I am overweight and uh, I need to work on that and it looks like I've fallen back into my old ways. It was really disheartening and difficult to hear or feel or um, process but I know I work out and I eat you know as well as I can and I it's coming from a person I'm not gonna I don't want to give away who the person is but it's coming from a person that I've been trying to push for a while to change their life into a healthier lifestyle and now they have turned that around into a hatred for me and that's really difficult because I'm extremely sensitive when it comes to my weight and stuff I've always had weight issues always up down back around everywhere so it's definitely difficult to deal with but if those type of people are around you um, I even had somebody recently just nailing me you're poor you're worthless you're not gonna be anything why did you quit your job it was just like Okay, but you know what? That's the stuff you're going to have to deal with. And you have to remember, those are the keys that you have to look for. And remember that those are the people that you're going to have to distance yourself from or eliminate out of your life entirely in as much as you can. Obviously, some people you can't. But for the most part, you definitely can. You guys, if you're new here, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Remember, you're supposed to be reading 15 minutes. You're supposed to be drinking your gallon of water. You're supposed to be doing your random act of kindness and posting about it. You're also supposed to, oh, hold on, your hour of activity. We're just getting a lot of things that are working in a positive direction, guys. And if you are new here, please join us on our Facebook group called Healthy Living for a Healthy Life. I will put the comment or the link in the description below. I'm going to link a couple other things. Our website, because it's kind of a weird name, <laughs> because I don't have money for the website, so I have to do it in kind of a roundabout way. Uh, the next thing, uh, also always check for, I'll have um, uh, links for uh, uh, American things and then right below them I'll title it UK um, for those of you that have like Amazon UK or something like that. So keep that in mind. The keto strips, I will put a link to reusable water bottles and why I'm saying that is because I have to get one soon. I'm going to get one as soon as I can afford one. I know that sounds silly, but I want to get a nice one. I'd like like a wood grain looking one or something. I love woodworking, so something like that. But I'll put a link to a nice reusable bottle because honestly, I, I drink about between the household seven, eight cases of water a week times four or 24, 24 times eight. What's that? 96 bottles. I don't even know what the, I think that's 96 bottles of water that we would be throwing into the landfills and stuff like that. And we can definitely keep that waste, keep the trash down, keep the uh, the impact on the environment down. So definitely keep that in mind. That link will be below. Be below. <laughs> and also uh, ketone strips, I'll put that in the de description below. And if you even wanna go one step further and you like, would like, I'll put a uh, link to description, a link to an item. <laughs> I can't talk today for a water cooler uh, so that you can actually have the water cooler come out into your little dispenser which would be nice and the Facebook group and also our Facebook page if you guys are on this journey remember that it's not gonna happen overnight some of you have a lot to lose some of you have a little to lose but we all have a lot to gain as far as knowledge support perseverance dedication hard work and all of that is gonna amount to really awesome results you guys keep up the good work a shout out to ashley worldgrave she just hit 87 pounds lost she now is at 220 has been working on that and i told her i was going to do something cool for her once she got there i will be completely honest i've been so scared that she's going to make it there because now i'm required to do that <laughs> but i'm excited in the same sense you guys will see some posts about it in the future for sure so keep up the good work. Remember to spread love, not hate. If you have not got a bracelet, message me your address. It says hashtag be stronger than your excuses and healthy living for a healthy life. 
if you can use it and keep it on all the time so you can look down and use it for your own reminder to eat right and make sure you're making healthy and positive choices. You guys have a beautiful day and obviously hashtag be stronger than your excuses and remember to spread love not hate. Peace.